Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to focus on styling and talk about some of the pieces that have made styling easier for me when I'm putting together outfits in the morning. I have eight items to share with you and these eight items fall into one of two categories. So the first one are my finishing touches. So these include my accessories or my outerwear and basically the items that complete a look. These are great styling tools because they can be easily mixed and matched which makes them very versatile and hence they're in my styling essentials. And the second category are those specific clothing items that are just so versatile and they can be styled in so many different ways that it essentially multiplies the number of outfits you can create with your wardrobe. Essentially what ties these eight things together is that by having them in my wardrobe, they really complement the rest of my pieces and basically leaves me with a more versatile and easy to style wardrobe. Today's video is sponsored by Karma, a Chrome extension and app which I'll link down below that basically ensures you never miss a coupon code or price drop when shopping online. Let's get started with the slip dress. And before we even talk about it, I'm just gonna show you on the screen some of the outfits I'm able to create with the slip dress. The reason why I love a slip dress is that it allows me to restyle a lot of my tops and blouses that I would have just worn with jeans otherwise. But now with the slip dress, it's able to create so many more looks with all the tops in my wardrobe. To put in words how the colors are blooming To try to count how fast my heart is booming And it's hard to describe This fever I feel In front of me When I shop for basics like this online, I find it quite helpful to be able to wishlist a couple of things on Karma. So not only does it allow me to compare prices and stop impulse purchases because I have to sit on it for a while, it's also great because you get notified of a price drop and if you're going to buy it anyway, you just save a little bit of extra money. I've had this Grana slip dress for about three to four years now and it's been a favorite since day one. I also recently decided to purchase this one from Ray on Matches Fashion and at checkout, Karma was able to automatically apply a 20% off coupon code and I saved 20% off because of Karma. I'm gonna show you now how I like to use the Karma tool on my laptop. So first up, let's download the Chrome extension on Google. You can basically visit any of your favorite stores and be notified by email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon code or comes back into stock. And this is how you can save an item. All you have to do when you're shopping is click the Karma button, select the size of the item you want, when you want to be notified, and add it to your wish list. One of the wish lists I'm currently saving things to is the transitional planning wish list, where I just have a bunch of things that I'm considering for the spring autumn season ahead. One of the things that I love is that you can create multiple wish lists to help organize your shopping. And once again, just having things on a list is a great way to be able to think about them for a bit longer instead of purchasing them on impulse. I always say this is my absolute favorite feature, which is that Karma can scan the web for coupon codes and apply them automatically at checkout. This is a special feature only available on desktop, so the Chrome extension is a must. Very lastly, you can earn Karma Cash to your PayPal when shopping from select retail partners. Karma is 100% free, so I'll link in the description box below where you can download the Chrome extension and app. As you saw in the cutaways, I've managed to style this with really simple pieces, such as a long white sleeve t-shirt or a striped knit. But at the same time, I've also managed to style it with louder prints and florals. So with a lot of the floral pieces I have in my wardrobe, I can only wear them a set number of ways. For example, with my jeans, that's probably the most obvious. Maybe with like black trousers, white trousers, and that is about it. Ever since I got a slip dress, I've always been able to add one more way of styling it just by layering it over the top or underneath. And then the last look that I frequently reach for is simply just to put a knit over the top. I usually prefer wearing a cropped knit over a slip dress, and it's just such an easy way to be able to make it into a slip skirt essentially. This is a very versatile item in my wardrobe and I can't imagine ever not having it in my wardrobe. I think I'm gonna do clothing accessory, clothing accessory just to mix things up a little bit. And next up, I wanna talk about pearl jewelry. 
I love to use pearls as a styling tool because I think that they are so timeless and classic to look at and they have that effect where they really brighten up the face but on the other hand, they're also great because they instantly dress up a look. So that is why they're included in this video as one of my favorite essential styling pieces. I'm just going to take off this necklace now and show you a couple of the pieces that I have in my jewelry collection. It is a simple pearl necklace with a very chunky toggle. The reason why I want to specifically mention this necklace is that it is quite classic in that it's just a strand of pearls. They're just freshwater pearls, nothing fancy. And the thing that sets it apart and makes it a bit more statement but still classic, is the fact that it's got a chunkier toggle design, which I really like. On a daily basis, when you are reaching for very simple looks, I just think that this is such an easy way to dress up an outfit. That was my more statement option. I also have this one, which you may have seen me wear on my channel before, but it's basically just a Monica Vinader pearl on a Majuri chain. I think that this Monica Vinader pearl is very classic. I have a set on a rose gold, and it's just one single pearl that I think looks very elegant and not as dressy as maybe a string of pearls. I also have this one. This one is again from By Alona. I really like the jewelry. And this one is a choker, which I've had for quite a while now. Doesn't end there because I also have this ring. This ring is from Fedoma from a few years ago. I also do have some earrings with like a pearl dangle, but I think you guys get the idea. If you don't like pearls, there are definitely a lot of other jewelry and gemstones and whatever that can replicate this idea. But I just think that when I am putting together outfits that are very simple, this is always such a good finishing touch to my look and it makes a big difference to how put together and polished my outfit feels that day. My first styling essential are shirts, which should be a surprise to no one, but if you do watch me on this channel, I've only recently started to wear them again. I think in the past, I was a bit traumatized by like a cotton shirt, just because I used to shop at COS a lot for shirts, and if you've seen COS shirts, they're very crisp, structured cotton materials, and in very oversized silhouettes. So the combination of the two just does not work for me as someone who is quite petite and who likes to tuck her clothes in. That aside, styling wise, I love that I can tuck a shirt like this into a pencil skirt or into a pair of black trousers for work. It is super appropriate and very classic as workwear. But of course, I can easily roll up the sleeves, undo a few buttons, wear it with my midi skirts and my shorts as well for a more casual summery look. And then the possibilities just are endless from there because you can wear it open over the top of a very summery outfit and it gives vacation or holiday vibes. And you can tie it up, which obviously does give holiday vibes as well without having to buy a new piece. These are the two shirts I currently have in my wardrobe and these are the Cezanne Tomboy shirt. The reason why I like these and I now have it in two different styles is that I think they're the right amount of oversized. You can wear these shirts tucked in very easily and you can also leave them out because they're not super long either. So that is the reason why I like them and I do appreciate that it comes in a variety of different colors and prints as well. Another shirt that I have is a linen shirt and that one is actually a very very versatile one because the linen makes it look super nice when you wear it as a jacket or tied up as well. I do prefer tucking these in, but I prefer that one for a very summery look when I want to use it as a jacket or tie it up, as I said. My fourth styling essential are slightly chunkier chains. And nothing too crazy, but just something a little bit more chunky than your traditional thin chain. I love these for styling because these simple chains can really just catch the eye, obviously, because these chains are cut in a way that's quite sparkly. I've got two examples here to show you, but actually the necklace I'm wearing here is also a good example of one of the chains that I think can be very versatile in styling. So the reason why I like this Majuri one here is that it is a slightly thicker chain and the way it's cut makes it quite sparkly. So from afar, you can definitely see it sparkle, um, as you move. So that instantly kind of just catches the eye when someone looks at your outfit. I also like that it's quite thin but flat, so it's definitely not too bling because it still does look quite minimal in my outfit. This is a piece I've actually really come to love in lockdown because I'm in my sweats all day long and sometimes just putting on a little necklace can make a huge difference to how put together I feel. The next one is more of your snake chain design. And I love, once again, how flat this is and the way it catches the light, I think it's just really pretty. 
This is from Fedoma and it's a great option as well. And these are also great layering pieces that you can use with other jewellery as well. I wanted to include this because I often overlook jewellery pieces like this. Sometimes I'm more drawn to something more statement, something that's more noticeable and exciting. That I forget about these simple pieces that I can actually wear with most of my outfits on a daily basis. Number five is a pair of cream or white trousers. And we can go with denim, we can go with actual trousers. It doesn't matter, but I think having something white on the bottom is the wardrobe piece that I was missing for years. And I think it was so limiting because there are so many tops I have that are just so beautiful when paired with a lighter colored bottom. And I was really missing out on that styling opportunity because I just didn't have anything light on the bottom half. These are both from Anniversaries. This one maybe a couple of years ago, this one from about six, seven months ago. And both of these trousers I just absolutely love having in my wardrobe. I often get asked if my Anniversaries trousers are sheer. Mine are not. I do think that it's a case-by-case -case situation because if I recall correctly, I did order a pair from them which I sent back that were a little bit sheer but the two that I have are very opaque, especially this one this is not white, this is more cream but it is incredibly opaque that I think I can wear like black underwear inside and not have it show through In the styling, you'll see that I pair it with very simple tops but then also with slightly more dressy, floral pieces as well In the simple looks, for example, I really like the black top paired with the white trousers I just think that I'm so used to seeing white top with black pants that it's really a nice twist to kind of reverse that. And then on the other hand, pairing with some of the more floral pieces I have in my wardrobe, the more colourful floral pieces, is also really nice because it instantly makes it feel like a very summery outfit, despite the trousers. I feel like without having these white trousers, I would be wearing them with blue jeans all the time, which does get boring when you're constantly repeating the jean and a cute top look. So that is why I love having these and it's something that I feel is a real classic but more importantly it's just amazing when it comes to styling to be able to get more wear from a lot of the pieces you may already own. My sixth item are my striped knits and the reason why this is included in this video which is a styling video is that I don't actually have to do very much when I wear a striped knit because it kind of just sorts itself out. So what I mean is, for example, if I'm wearing this knit with my tan trousers, I feel like I don't have to do anything else and the outfit just feels complete by itself because there is a little bit of detail in the pattern. If I was to compare it to this knit, which is just a very simple navy knit, I feel like I have to accessorize this one a lot more for it to look chic, whereas this one is kind of just done already. So that's one of the reasons why I do love the stripe. I also think that the stripes are great because they work for a lot of different styles. If you don't like a lot of colour and print in your wardrobe, I feel like the stripe is something that is so subtle, um, it will work really nicely. And on the other hand, if you love print, I feel like stripes are really easy to match with other prints if you're into that look. And they just kind of work with so many different outfits. This one you'll probably recognise, this is a Cezanne Leontine, which I've had for a long time now. and always a favourite. This one's from APC and I absolutely love that it's on a navy base instead of the white. I mean I love both but the navy is just a bit of a refreshing look because I have styled the white one for a very long time. It's nice to have an option. This is my last clothing item and I want to share with you shackets. I feel like shackets are great as that third piece. Um, that I always hear when it comes to styling. So it's the idea that adding a jacket or adding that third piece to your outfit can make it look a lot more stylish. In my wardrobe, I felt like I was missing that casual jacket I could wear on a daily basis. So basically I love these because they feel a gap in my wardrobe. On those days where I don't want to reach for something dressy like the blazer or a coat, the jacket is perfect for just every day. Another reason why I want to include it in this styling video is that I think they're a great tool for dressing down outfits. So for example, if I have a dress and I want to wear it more, but it's a bit too much for where I'm going, I feel like throwing a jacket over the top instantly makes it look um, a little bit more wearable for the everyday. In that way, this is very similar to the white sneaker in that it's able to make some of my dressier pieces more casual and I love that about these jackets. If I didn't just make a video about how to style sneakers, there's a good chance a white sneaker will be in here. But I have just done a whole video styling them, which I'll link up here or down below. So I won't talk about them in this video. The two jackets I'm styling in the video are from Cezanne. They're both the Willa style. 
and one's in the blue and one's in the ikru. So if you're interested in this jacket, they do do this in a variety of colors and they've also recently, I think, expanded their size range. So it goes from extra extra small to triple X large. So you do have a lot of sizes and a lot of colors to choose from. We're on to my eighth and final styling essential and I want to talk about bags that you can wear in multiple ways or specifically that you can wear in three ways. That is the case of both of these bags. So we've got the Chloe Tessie and we've got the APC Geneve. And both of these bags which I featured in my last video which was a bag collection can be worn in three ways. I'm going to give you the same examples when it comes to styling where if you're wearing a dress and it feels a bit too much for where you're going, you can use a crossbody on it to make it feel more casual. And then if an outfit does feel a bit too simple, I might use the bag as a crossbody bag just to have a lot more detail going on. And I might also use this bag in a top handle style to dress it up a little bit compared to before. If my top has a particular pattern or a beautiful drape to it, and I don't want my bag to interrupt the way the top looks, often I'll reach for the shoulder strap option instead. I think that pretty much sums up what I have to say, but having the option to wear the bag three ways just gives a bit more versatility when it comes to styling. So those are the eight styling essentials that I have to share with you for today. And thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring this video and I will have the app and Chrome extension linked down below for you guys to check out. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love for you to go hit the like button and subscribe. I also have an Instagram, which I would love for you guys to follow along if you're interested in seeing what I get up to, some style things that I might not share on YouTube. I would love for you to go check that out. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye.